Moors whistled all the Moors. They carried with them Emily's plea. Flesh! Flesh! Give to me my flesh! Well, how was it? What say you, Mr. Keats, our Nobel Poet Laureate? Ahem. You're so scary, Mary Shelley, I've got shivers in my belly. It's just a first draft. And you, Lord Byron? Scared the trousers off me. In fact, could you close that window? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so pleased you enjoyed it. But what about you? Uh, oh, how horrible of me. I've forgotten your name. Hey, Sam, I'm Max. And if you scare up more of this squeezy cheese, we'll tell you a real scary story. <laughs> gave way to scattered clouds and a high of 85. Sam and Max, freelance constables, were pounding the cobblestones outside a trendy local clothier, the gout. Stop! Thief! You know that never works. Yes, but it's such a wonderful prelude for the impending mayhem. <laughs> Resilient little goof, Max always fluffed right back up. But nothing could prepare us for the sight that was in store. <coughs> the sight of Max's severed tail, lying lifeless in the street. <coughs> Look, Max, I know you're upset and all, but... <laughs> upset? Who's upset? I'm fine. I feel like a weight has been lifted off my... Well, my bum! That's right! Yeah, I said it! My bad little bum! <laughs> and so began Max's dizzy backward descent into madness. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, dude! Cheer up, Max. Our troubles are soon over. We're on our way to see the much maligned Dr. Dysfunctio Cerebri, restorer of life, conqueror of death. Tuppen says this reanimating alchemist can put the fluff back in your duff in two shakes of a lagomorph. Don't say it, Sam. Just don't say it! He's a pretty boy. Yes, he is. He seems to want a new liver. Huh? He seems to want a new liver. Yes, he does. So what do you say, Doc? I mean, can you help my little pal here? It's a matter of life and death. Only you can save my tail. Yeah, we'll do anything. Well, I'm still short of you. Vital ingredients for my experiment. And my regular supplier is a too expensive. I bet he charged an arm and a leg for this hand. I'll need a new kidney. Some bowels, a small intestine, a lymphatic system, if it's a fresh. Hang on, I'll write you a list. And where shall we go to fill out this grisly prescription? This one looks good. Gee, Sam, I don't know about this. You mean you feel at odds about violating the sanctity of the dead and disturbing their eternal sleep? No, I mean digging is hard. Besides, I've got a better way to fill this order. <laughs> Softly, good sirs. What food through yonder takeout window dost thou crave? Uh, two jellied eel meals, a mutton shake... And could you take some raw meat and pat it into the shapes of the body parts on this list? Dost you want fries with that? Yes, yes. Ooh, that's nice. She's a good fit. The patient has been shaved and prepped, Doctor. A deal's a deal. Fine, fine. Put him uh, over there, a summer place. 
these parts. They are like the party in my hands. The donor. What sort of a guy was he? A dead guy. Big, beefy dead guy. Yeah, beefy. His name was uh, Patty. That's it. <laughs> He's done. At last, my moment of destiny has arrived. They laughed at me at the Academy. They laughed at me at the Institute. He must have been a lot funnier then. But tonight, I, Dr. Dysfunctio Cerebri, shall conquer death and unlock the immortal secret of the reanimation. I command you to rise, walk, and live! There's a life here, I think. Live, Darny, you live! <sighs> it's alive! I'm a man, and I tell you, it's alive! Congrats, Dark. He's a fine-looking boy. And strapping. I bet he could snap you like a wee twig. Funny you should say that. Frido, for your first act, I should like you to show our guests out the window! So that I alone will hold the secret of a life! <laughs> Did you hear that, little pal? Finally, some real peril! That's it for me. Oh, don't go to any trouble on our account, Doc. Yeah, we'll just take out my reanimated tail and be on our merry way. Reanimated the tail? What a reanimated the tail? <laughs> Larry and Joseph, it's alive! A fitting ending, eh, Max? The creator dealt his undoing by his own creation. Max? Hey there, fluffy old friend. Easy, boy. Just relax. You know me, don't you? Sure. Remember this? So many fond memories. <laughs> We've come for Dr. Cerebri. It's an irate, torch-bearing mob of ignorant townsfolk bent on destroying all things different, unusual, and misunderstood. Irate? We're no irate. We're in town for the United Torchmakers Convention. Thought you may be needing some new torches, like this wee gem, the Flame X 200. No! Why? We're torch bearing, ain't we? <laughs> Come back, Tail! Come back! Let it go, little buddy. You know what they say. If you love something, set it free. And if it comes back, staple it to your keister. <laughs> <laughs> you're silly. Can I pet your fluffy fur? Oh, you're so pretty. I think I'll make you my pet and take you home to be with me always. I will pet you and love you and subjugate you to my every whim I will. anyone saw of the tale. As far as we know, it's still out there, condemned to roam the countryside alone. As I am condemned to wander through this world, a miserable, tailless freak. Oh, Bish Posh, your tail isn't lost. It's right there on your little bum bum. Don't tie with me, sister. She said bum. She is in earnest. It's right there, that miserable tuft of hair. He's come home. It's a miracle! Come here, you! Give us a kiss! Come here, come here, come here! Enough! Out 
dare you insult our intelligence? That was the most inane twaddle I have ever had the misfortune to hear. A murderous reanimated bunny tail, indeed. Save us! I think those poor folks have been forever scarred, Sam. Then our work is done here, Max. I guess you could say that was one scary tale. Easy there, fella. Save some squeezy cheese for the rest of us. Never mind. 